Hello friends, so recently I traveled to Europe for attending one international conference through Government of India SERB ITS funding scheme. So previously it was SERB ITS and now it is ANRF ITS. So my experience was really excellent. So along with the presentation into the conferences, I met different researchers working in my area. I really enjoyed their company and I have even explored many nearby places. So if you are an Indian researcher working as a PhD student, postdoctoral fellows, you may be working as a professor in different academic institutions or maybe scientist in different R&D labs laboratories then you are eligible to apply and through this scheme almost everything would be funded including your conference registration charges accommodation charges your travel tickets visa fees and airport taxes so i welcome you all to the channel my research support and in this video with few simple steps we will see how to apply to this funding scheme and i would also be mentioning about few key important points so please listen all these points carefully so that the chances of your application getting accepted for this funding scheme would be increased so without any further ado let's start so the first step is you have to visit this page i have provided this link in this video description so this is Anusandhan National Research Foundation. So previously it was SERB ITS and now it is ANRF ITS. And then you have to just scroll down and you have to click on ongoing announcements. So in that you will find this option International Travel Support ITS. You can click on that. So this call is running throughout the year. However, you can only apply in between 60 to 90 days advance to your conference date for example if your conference is scheduled on 1st of april then you can apply start applying from 2nd of january till 31st of january only so this is the first and most important point however you have to go through all this information carefully and before you start applying yes you should have finalized your conference you can search it on the google or maybe on any other platforms and you can select the best conference so you need not to submit your full length article means you can submit abstract only abstract of your upcoming research paper or abstract of your published article as well you can submit see in conference every time you need not to submit your full length articles even you can submit your abstract you can go and present your research article yes during presentation you should have prepared your ppt that's it so that does mean even though you don't have your full length article then also you can go and present in the conferences and then you have to prepare these documents all these documents are clearly mentioned here and then finally under how to apply online you have to click on register so that you will be getting this page you have to provide your basic credentials and you have to sign up you have to register and then after registration you have to upload all these documents then only your application would be submitted to this ANRF ITS. So here let us discuss about few important points so that you cannot miss anything that may lead to rejection of your application. So the first thing is whether you are eligible to apply which is clearly mentioned here that you must be Indian researcher engaged maybe with R&D work in academic institution or research laboratories in India. Okay, That is the first condition and this support is provided to you for presenting an original research paper okay so this is not applicable for any kind of short term courses summer winter schools and workshop and then you should have not availed this financial assistance during the last three years means in three years you can only apply to this scheme once and then the personal invitation if you have received any kind of personal invitation for carrying out your postdoctoral or phd work in that case also it is not applicable and this is the criteria you must have master's degree in science or bachelor's degree in professional courses so this is the basic eligibility criteria now let us just look upon this nature of support so you will get the to and fro economic class airfare by the shortest route airport tax and visa fees for attending this specific event okay so this is the most important point the registration fees as per actual or rupees 50,000 whichever is less will be provided to young scientist only okay so if your age is less than 35 then you may get this registration fee however if you exceed 35 in that case you can only get this travel support now let me comment upon this registration fees so in most of the conferences registration fee only includes the registration that cannot include the accommodation however 
so i have attended the conference which was held in poland so registration fee so that registration fee has included accommodation itself so in that case yes you will get accommodation charges as well but yes you can only get maximum up to 50000 inr if it exceeds 50000 in that case yes you might have to pay from your pocket or you may take assistance from your institute or your r and d lab now once you are familiar with this nature of support and you are eligible to apply then you can move ahead getting all these documents okay let me just brief about these documents so the first document is obviously an endorsement letter duly signed or stamped by your institute okay you can ask in your institute and then a copy of letter of acceptance of your abstract okay maybe for oral presentation or poster presentation then you have to also enclose a copy of your abstract okay that should clearly mention all authors their affiliations with full addresses okay everything at the time of submission of abstract itself we should put everything so simply you have to attach the copy of your abstract and the last document which i feel the most important document among all this is your biodata with complete list of scientific technical publications and patents if any you must have emphasized on this scientific and technical publication so as per my experience if you have submitted your abstract on specific topic so it is expected that at least you should have any kind of prior experience working on that topic so that would be reflected only from your scientific and technical publication so if you have previous two three publications on the topic that you are going to present in the conference then this thing will be taken positively and that play a vital role in overall shortlisting process so even if you don't have any kind of publications or patents then also you can apply so you need not to submit any kind of proofs okay you need to only attach bio data but you have to be specifically mention each and everything if you have attended any specific conferences before any specific workshop short term training courses in that topic then also you can add all this in your bio data to make it strong then in application stage you should have applied for this endorsement letter okay so the template is provided you can download that template and you can just share with your institute and you will get that and then certificate by the application including event benefits so you have to download fill up and then bio data acceptance letter abstract event details date of birth certificate and again the second most important point after bio data is event benefits okay so see what they are expecting is how this event is beneficial to your personal growth and also beneficial to the growth in your area so that ultimately it would be beneficial to the society so you have to specifically mention on these two points and definitely you can take help of ai tools for drafting this event benefits and then financial support from other sources if you are getting any kind of financial sources maybe from your institute then also you have to attach that letter here and once your documents are ready you can just as i said you can just click here to register and you can create your login id and password and you can just follow the steps to upload all these documents and you have to after submission you have to wait for one to two months so most probably one month and after that if your application got selected then probably you will be receiving this email which will state that we are happy to inform you that your application seeking financial grant to attend so and so conference will be selected so all other conditions will be mentioned here okay and if your application is rejected then also you will be receiving an email that your application is rejected so if it is selected then there are a lot more points to discuss but let me just brief about it so you have to just book your flight tickets only through these three agents bomber and lorry and then you can book through irctc and then att platform okay then only your flight tickets will be reimbursed and when you will attend the conference then you have to keep all the original boarding passes with you and participation certificate that is required at the time of submitting the claim means whenever you will attend the conference you will be back so after that within 3 months you have to submit all these documents along with your boarding passes original tickets boarding passes participation certificate scan copies through your 
login interface so this is my login interface you will find different options here through that you have to upload all these files and along with that you have to send all these original documents through speed post or courier as well and after you submit all these documents you can expect claim amount from this serb within one to two months and that amount would be credited to your universities or institutes account and then probably you can ask your institute to transfer it in your personal account so this is just like briefing about this anrf its scheme i have not touched each and everything but yes this is i think this is more than enough so if you think that i should prepare similar kind of videos on different funding schemes to attend conferences and even short term internship programs then do let me know definitely i'll think on it and i'll start a series on these types of videos and if you still have any kind of queries or questions related to the serp or nrf its then also you can ask all these questions to comment so friends thank you very much for watching this video i hope this information will help you and friends i know that this funding scheme is a little competitive but it is not that much difficult please try and apply to this scheme and i hope soon your application will be approved so thank you very much once again do not forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so i'll see you in my next video bye bye